You know, I don't really do politics videos, but I do do science videos, and when someone is really saying stuff about how these bulbs are better than these bulbs, I mean, we really need to check that out. Okay, so this is your standard incandescent light bulb. Uh, it's, it's ancient in terms of technology. Uh, it's very simple. It's just a glass case. There's a, a filament inside there with a current that runs through it and gets really hot. It gets so hot that it glows. And that's how this works. Let's turn this on. Okay, see? There you go. Incandescent light bulb. This is a 60 watt light bulb. Okay, let's replace that with the very modern, and I really like them. This is an LED bulb. And now, these were made to fit in the same socket so that that makes things great. And these, a normal LED doesn't really work uh, on the same voltage that an incandescent works. So it has to have a driver circuit in here to get it to work. Uh, so that's what's in the base of that. So I'm going to plug that in. And let's turn that on. And see, it, it looks about the same. You really can't tell that much difference. Uh, but we can indeed measure the different colors that these produce and talk about light. Uh, let me just show you one more thing and I'll, I'm going to measure some tests. We're going to look at these colors and see how these colors, what colors these look with different lights and see what happens. Uh, this is also an LED. You can barely see it. This is your standard solid state LED device. It's a two materials. Uh, when you pass a current through it, it produces light. If you want to play with one, they, they normally have a long side and a short side. The long side goes to the positive of a battery and the short to negative. This is a, a button cell. You can just connect it up like that. Okay, so let's do some tests. But it's gotta be a little bit darker so we can measure stuff. Okay, so here is a super quick intro to light and color. So here I have a flashlight and light could come down and bounce off the flashlight. The, there's a red apple. Yes, that's what it is. And it, this actually goes in all directions. But some of it gets into my eye. This is an eye up here so I can see it. So light has to get into your eye in order to see it. Now, actually, light, white light, is three or multiple. It's a whole bunch of colors mixed together. So it's, it's got a red light coming down. It's got red in there. It's got green. And it's got blue. And it actually has more. It has the uh, the whole spectrum. Let's write it out. Uh, you know what it is. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet. Roy G. Biv. Some people put indigo in there. That's a whole different story. We could talk about that if you want. Um, okay, so then what happens is... Actually, I like this. Let's make this more like the other ones. So, some particular things like red objects uh, absorb the blue and the green and only reflect the red light. So this will only the red reflected so you only see red in your eye. And that's how we see the different colors. Um, so typically we can break things up into three things. Red, green, and blue. RGB. And so each of those colors by mixing the values of the different amounts, then we can pr pretty much produce any color that we want. So if you have full red, full green, full blue, you get white. If you have just red and no green or blue, then you get just red. If you get none of these, then you have black. Okay. So any combination between these, you can make all the different colors. And if you've done any programming, um, if you've done any digital art, then you know that these have three different values that you can kind of uh, determine. Sometimes these are numbers between 0 and 255. Sometimes there are numbers between 0 and 1. That's what we do in Python. And sometimes they're um, a hex numbers. Okay. Uh, so just so you know, if what would happen if I shine blue light on this apple? So if I only have blue light coming down, then no blue light would be reflected, and you, you wouldn't see any red light coming off. You wouldn't see blue. You would see black. Okay, so the type of light that you have determines what color you see. So what we're going to do is take the different lights and look at something like this and see what colors we measure with our phone. I'm going to use a phone. Okay, so let's do it. 
Okay, so I have here um, white, and I've turned off the overhead light so that you can we can focus on this and that light and not other things. And now I'm going to open up my phone. Okay, I have this app I found called Color Picker. I'll put a link in the notes down below. Everyone does that. The notes down below. Color Picker. There we go. Okay, see. So this um, has a little crosshair, and if you put the crosshair over something, you can measure the RGB values of that. Uh, so let's just do a couple of these. Uh, right now I have my, uh, my LED light in here. I'm going to look at the green. I get, if I take a measurement, I get a green value of, I don't know if you can see that. There you go. That's 70 red, 94 green, and 31 blue. So I can get that value. Um, let's measure blue. I don't know, or orange. Let's, let's do the orange one. That's reddish orange, I guess. So that's uh, 205 red, 51 green, 15 blue. So it has very little blue in there. Okay. Now let's switch. Let's switch to this uh, incandescent light and see what happens. I'm just going to unscrew this. I did this one first because it doesn't get hot, so I can unscrew it and not burn my little delicate fingers. Okay, now I can feel that one. Okay, let's measure. I should write these down, but I'm not. Let's go back to the orange and use my color picker app. It's pretty close. I'm getting a 20 blue, uh, 43 green, 212 red. That's pretty much the same. Okay, this is about the same color. Let's go look at the green. The green, I'm getting 100, 122, 52. So again, it's not that huge of a difference. We could also look at white. I think that would be important too. So this one, white is 211, 196, 188. Okay, let me switch to the other one. Um, I should have done that too. Hot. It's hot. Okay. And let's look at the white. One or 200, 200, 195. So it is a little bit different on the white. Uh, but you probably can't even tell the difference between these two. So I would say these bulbs are pretty much the same. Now, there is something I have here. This is a um, video light that I have. Okay, let's turn this off. And I can illuminate that, but this one has, let me turn the brightness down. So it's more like the other light. Okay. Now I can actually change the color. Watch what happens. So this is more, um, it says in terms of temperature. And then I increase that and it becomes more white and then more blue. Okay. So if you think that incandescents give better lighting, you can't do this with an incandescent. This is an LED. So this, this works um, by, whoa, it's really bright. Let me turn it down. This works because it has uh, individual red, green, and blue lights, and you can vary the intensity of those lights to get whatever color you want. And I think that's kind of cool. Um, and you can actually see that if you look closely, but you can't really see. Okay, so I think that's good. Incandescents are not better than LEDs. What about the price? Let's do one more calculation. Because this is about, this is 60 watts. That's how much power it uses. That's six and a half watts. So even if you think about it in terms of cost, if that bulb costs more, then how long would you have to, to use it to catch up? We'll do that. Okay, one last thing here. Suppose I buy an LED bulb and I buy an incandescent bulb. So the LED bulb costs more but uses less power. So, I mean, how long do I have to wait before it pays off? It's cheaper. That's what I'm going to look at. Okay, so the first question is, 
how much does an LED cost? How much does an incandescent cost? I went on Amazon. I found here, you can see, I have a six packs LED for $13.99. I found another six pack. This is Amazon Basics uh, for $15.99. That's the one I'm gonna go with. And then for the halogens, those are, well, okay. I didn't find any incandescents. Uh, I found halogen bulbs. I found a four pack for $7.99 and I found an eight pack for uh, $14.89. So the cheaper is the four pack for $7.99. So I'm gonna go with cheaper. Wait, is that the cheaper? I think, I think actually, uh, let's change this. Okay. Um, then I have the number of people in the USA, 300 million, rough approximation. I'm gonna use that in a little bit. The power consumption for an LED I have at 6.5 watts and the halogen is 43 watts, not 60 watts, okay? So this could change because if you got a 60 watt incandescent bulb, I don't know how much it cost. And partly the problem here is that, um, you know, the market changes. If you produce more LEDs, they cost less. If you produce less incandescents, they cost more. So it's kind of hard to see what the cost is. I went with the, the halogens. 43 watts, I'm just gonna stick with that. Okay, uh, so now I have the uh, cost per LED. It's 15, I did, actually, I should, let's do this right. 15.99 divided by six. The cost for an incandescent, let's do this other one, of 7.99 divided by four. Okay, now I don't need to print that stuff up anymore. Okay, now what I wanna do is plot the, cost per day for the LED and for the incandescent. So let's say that you use the bulb for four hours a day. I'm just picking a day there, a time. That seems, you know, reasonable. Um, so that's that's how much we use. So I'm gonna make a little loop. Actually, I'm gonna make a graph. And I'm gonna put the X title as time in days. And the Y title as uh, cost in USD, which stands for US dollars. Okay, FL is gonna be a graph. And the label is LED. And then FI is gonna be a, G, a graph. In can incandescent. I always think I misspell that, but that's fine. Okay, so let's do this for about a year while T is less than 365. So this is T is in units of hour of days. Well, that's in units of days, um, but the TD is in units of hours. I think that's fine. Okay, so now I want to calculate the cost of the compact fluorescent. So uh, CL equals CL. That's how much. That's how much I started with before, and then I have to add in how much it costs per day. So it's going to be uh, the power times the time times the rate. I missed that out here. Okay, so let's see. In Louisiana, the rate is zero point one dollars per kilowatt hour. So let's call that rate. K. So the rate is going to be RK divided by a thousand. That's would be the rate in watt hours. So for every hour per of watt per hour, I have to pay that amount. So I'll pull, multiply it by RK. Oops. No, that's right. So it's R. Now I can do the same thing for the incandescent. And now I can plot them. T on the x-axis, uh, CL, FI dot plot, T, C, I. Uh, I need to update time. Plus one, I'm moving one day forward. I think that's it. Okay, let's run it. Error. 
DT is not defined. TD. I wonder if do that TD. TD. It's weird. Sometimes you do things, you don't know why you do them. There you go. Okay, so this is the cost for the incandescence, the halogens. Uh, you pay less for the bulb, but it uses more energy over time. The LED uses costs more, but uses less energy over time. So where they cross is where they cost the same amount. That's 44 days. So after a year, uh, this actually screwed this over. After a year, the incandescent costs eight dollars, and this costs four three point seven five three point six three. This is eight point two six. Okay, so there you go. You save some money. Okay, let's do one more calculation. Now, I think I'll stop. I'll leave this for homework. What if everyone in the USA, what if everyone shared a bulb and they all switched from incandescence to LED? How much money would they save? And more importantly, how much power and energy would they save per year? Okay, you can do that. But there you go. That's your comparison of incandescence versus LED.